It's open. All right, Leonard. So how are things? Well, Eric, the economy is in the toilet. My social security check is getting lower. My wife's dead. Other than that, things are really great. Well, I can only help you with one of those things. And I think you know which one. Yeah, I know. Did you go to the grief meeting at the church I recommended? No. Leonard, I really thought that would help you get some closure. I can't get any closure. Eric, you know she's dead. And my colorful memory of her is fading. Color? Yeah, color. What is color? When I met Myra and when I touched her, I immediately saw color. At that point, I knew she was my soulmate. So, by touching her, you just knew she was your soulmate? Yes. Interesting. Hmm. I kept having dreams about Myra, and when I woke up, why she wasn't there. Did you see that? That flash? Did you see that weird look on everything? You mean the sky, the grass, and our clothes? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Did you see that flash of bright color? I'm a man. And see what? That bright flash. I didn't see no flash, man. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just a little nervous. Do you have any idea what that was? If I knew, I'd tell you. Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine, but like, did something happen to our eyes? Did I like pass out or something? N no, I, I just don't know. Yeah, I lost my appetite, but I can't skip my morning latte. And I'm going to skip my morning cappuccino. All right, I, uh, I guess I'll see you later. Okay, Eric, now how about this? Yep. Now? Yep. To be honest, your eyesight is fine. What brought you in so suddenly? Well, you see, today I was walking into the coffee shop, and this girl, she and I touched hands when we were trying to open the door. And I don't really know how to describe it, but when we touched, it was sort of like there was this, like everything became a different sort of... Was it in a different shade? Yeah, exactly. How do you know about that? To be honest, I've had one. When I first met my wife, we were walking on the street, and our fingers touched accidentally. I saw a bright flash, and I didn't know what it was, but I knew I had to figure it out. Then what happened? We started going out, got married, had kids. After I first met her, let's just say I haven't seen the world in the same way since. So then you think that flash was the first sign of meeting your future wife? I don't know, but I'm happily married if that helps. Is there any sort of logical explanation as to why I experienced that flash? The only thing I can think of is this old theory of the human eye. Now this theory is called the Purkinje effect. It happens when something is either so dark or so light that what you see shifts on the color spectrum and the object appears in a different shade. So you mean this could have happened because what I saw was too intense for me to see? Maybe. All I know is you had a bright flash that was too extreme. Maybe you met your soulmate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morning, Leonard. Gosh, you look dead. Actually, I've gotten no sleep the entire week. That's why I look like this. Why? What's the deal? Well, last week, when I was walking in the coffee shop, a girl grabbed the door for me, and I grabbed the door for her, but when our hands touched, I, I don't even know how to explain it. There's just like a flashbang around us. It's, it's hard to describe. I don't... Did a bomb go off or something? That's what the girl thought, too, but it was weird. When the flashbang was going on, there was some sort of weird shade of... Shade of... I... Color? You mean color. Wait, you don't mean... No, 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 that's impossible. Eric, you saw color. I googled what color was last night, but all it said was it's just an old wives tale. I know, but what you saw was color. But it just happened with some random girl. There... There must be some sort of logical explanation. There isn't. Look, Leonard, whatever you're saying about this color thing, I'm not buying it. What I saw was weird. It wasn't romantic. You and I both know 
that you're not believing what your heart is trying to tell you. My heart isn't saying anything. It was just some sort of mysterious phenomenon. Nothing more than that. Done and done. Well, go after her. W what? You heard me. Go after her. Leonard, I just can't walk up to this girl and say, Hey, remember that one time we had that flashbang? Yeah, that means we're soulmates. By the way, what's your name? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're turning away true love. I'm turning away a false desire. Listen, my boy. What you felt was true love. And that is undeniable. I cannot believe I'm listening to one of my 80-year-old mental patients give me romantic advice. I'm not mental. No, Leonard, I... I didn't mean it like that. I can't go to Wednesday Bingo anymore because I whine too much about my dead wife. Leonard, listen to me. What? McDonald's won't give me coffee anymore because I try to get two. One for me and one for my wife. And they say that's wasted product. Leonard, here, see that? And as I was walking across the street, why this little girl come up and asked me if I needed help. Well, that little brat... Okay, I'll go. You'll go talk to her? Yes, I will, okay but I'm not going in there acting like she's my soulmate or something. Well, thank you, Eric. Yeah, don't mention it. Now, let's get back to business. talk to you about that, uh, that flashbang? Look, I'm already late for work. I understand. I just wanted to get some closure on that odd happening, and I thought you might want some too. I've gotten as much closure as I need. I googled it, I went to the eye doctor, and I've asked around. I've done all those things and nothing's come up. Look, I have to go. Is there any chance I could meet with you sometime soon? I'm busy the rest of the week. I see. Alright, you got ten minutes. Starting now. I never did catch your name. Ellie Underwood. And yours? Eric Pine. Nice to meet you. This is all just so weird. I know. I'm a psychologist, and I've searched every corner of the internet for an answer, but I just can't find anything. If you're a psychologist, shouldn't you search every corner of the mind for an answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, well, you see, I have this patient, and he wanted, really wanted me to meet with you today because it would make him feel better about my situation. Our situation. Our situation, yes. You see, my, my patient says that when you meet your soulmate for the first time, and you touch, you experience this light flash that's almost like a bomb. And you believe him? Of course not. I just took this opportunity to see if you had come up with an explanation. Well, I haven't. Well, I might have one. And it is? Well, when I was at the eye doctor's last week, he gave me an answer that I still just can't wrap my brain around. What was it? He called it the... Perkinji effect. He said when you see something so intense, the color either changes shades or shifts on the color spectrum, you've been into a completely different color. Color? Yes, it's like this odd shade that everything was in when we first touched. I'm not sure if I'm right yet, but the doctor said when he and his wife first touched, there's like a similar flashbang to the one we experienced. So we're supposed to get married? Is that what you're getting at? No, no, not at all. I just think that if we thought hard enough, we'd come up with a legitimate answer as to why we experienced that weird incident. Well, it can't hurt to try again. Here, give me your hand. I don't know why you think this is necessary. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Do you think we should meet again? Totally. As soon as possible. Does tomorrow work? Sounds good. Same place? Same time. Why?